Greetings all, this is a 100 watt, 230 or 110 volt AC LED lamp used typically in churches and factories and so on, large buildings. Puts out a huge amount of light, really, um, really effective. But um, <coughs> I bought six of them the other, the other week and they're from China and um, they're quite a mission to put up if you've got a high bay area but um, this particular beast is um, faulty put it in made sure it was all tied up in the socket and no alight whatsoever so I've got a refund on Aliexpress on it now I have already pulled it apart <coughs> And I think I've figured out what's wrong with it. So I'm going to give you some tips on getting these things apart. Since I've gone through the hard work already. And whenever you pull something apart, you need to look for a join somewhere. Now, on these things, that... There is a join there, but it's a moulding join, so there's no way you're going to be able to get to the inside from that end. But up at this end, I don't know if the camera's going to show it clearly or not, there is a slight join in this area here, and I suspected correctly that each of these pillars um, matches up with this little cut out area here and I thought that perhaps they've used some sort of adhesive to hold this top ring sorry for the camera work I'm trying to do that as well as show you so yeah, this top ring I suspected would remove allowing me to get inside and figure out what, what was going on with it and I was correct so basically um, you need to, before you start pulling this thing apart, you need to just put a little pen, felt pen mark on one of those pillars, just like I've done there. Because as you pull it apart, um, it just doesn't come away nicely. And, and some, there are little pins, plastic pins in each of these, and some of them will break. So to get it back in exactly the same position, you need to have a key, and that's the key. Now I've got two screwdrivers, I can't do really do use both with the holding the camera, but the one on the left I use it's got a very very tiny tip and um I use it for um just getting inside the, the tiny gaps like that tiny gap there and just le starting to lever and once I lever there then I carefully put the, the slightly larger one into here and then I levered it up taking great care sorry um, my camera works not very good I'm just I wish I had my daughter or somebody with me to help my wife's busy watching TV so can't go there um, so that goes in there and you just gently lever up and you'll hear slight cracking noises and so on. Be very careful, there's two pieces of wire in each of these slots as well. So you need to get in between them. And just work your way around, sort of using the tiny screwdriver to slightly lever it up. And then using the bigger screwdriver. Um, and, and don't put any pressure on the screwdrivers because you'll end up breaking the screwdrivers or a piece of plastic or whatever so eventually you'll end up with the goodies and you'll be able to just whoop, this is going to be hard doing it with one hand I'll just yeah there we are we're away now pull that ring off I'm trying to hold it on my lap without dropping it and then just fold that down and there's nothing to it it's just a, a control board on the top with the wiring and the wiring is is really really bad it's um 
I mean those two black leads there that they're, they're, they're probably about half an amp current capacity and they have got no insulation protection and they um, yeah they're, they're just not safe at least the Chinese should have put more uh, high voltage leads to on the mains input that would be one area where they need to do something right so after inspecting it I found that down in that hole there where the end cap is the wire wasn't even attached so I'm assuming that's what the problem was now I, what I need to do to put it back together again is just to put little dabbies of glue probably about four dabs of glue on say on there 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 and over there and then um, pop that top back on in exactly the same spot um, once I've carried out my repairs okay so I'll just lay that down and the other thing is you'll find YouTube sorry you'll find YouTube videos um, all around the place telling you how to fix these LED um, lights um, but just in, in, in briefly if you you're getting a flickering along one line or something odd like that you just look for an LED with a mark on it and that that could be burnt out so just um, ideally you should be able to remove the LED and replace it with another one but if you haven't got another one you can actually short them out apparently it just makes a slightly higher voltage across each um, one of these LEDs in the line um, but like I say um, user beware you, you do that at your own uh, risk and also you do this this repair work at your own risk as well so this little cap here at the end I found that that actually easily came out and it appears that there should be a wire soldered onto the end of that. There is no um, conduction area anywhere in there. So I presume that, um, well, what I'm going to do is pop the wire through here and either attach it by soldering it onto the end of, of this thing here and screwing it back in, that cap, or... I will wrap the wire around the um, the thread of that and screw it back in and just use the pressure of the surround um, so that's that's the stage I'm at and if it works um, I'll put it on another video thank you for watching greetings friends so what I've decided to do is using a it's a Dremel type machine um, with the end cap I I've already done it, but I used the Dremel and I drilled a very small hole in the end of of the end cap. And using my trusty um, heat gun over here, it's a printed circuit board heating device. Um, I heated this little unit up and dropped it. just a dab of solder once it was hot enough into the end of it. And because it's the whole thing's really hot, uh, even though it's steel, you can still solder it. And I just figured that was the best way to match the um, end piece of wire into this here and make sure it's going to stay there. Wait till let's use this in place of a soldering iron. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a blobby of solder on the end of that. It's going to be a wee bit messy, not as nice as I'd like. Um, so I'll bring the temperature of this up. We've got a blob of solder on the end of the um, phase lead. Look at the size of that phase lead. The insulation on it is terrible. How they could possibly do that, I do not know. So just keep the heat going on here for a little while. 
it's probably already up there looks like it's fine and if my hand would stop shaking that would be a good help dear lord please help my hand stop it shaking ah! trying to put the heat gun away now that's better And that should be pretty well taken by about now. Okay, so that should be permanent. Next step now, I've got this um, end bit nicely soldered on, is to secure the end cap on with a bit of trusty Evo stick. Very good glue. Once glued, never released. So I'll stick that in there like that. And there's a bit of a bit of a dabby. And that'll just take its while and glue up. So you remember the mark I put there. Um, I'm just going to go around and on four points where those little pluggy things are. I'll just go round, I'll put one dab of glue there and then another dab over here and, and one on the back and then one on the side. Sorry, camera work once again is bad. Um, and then I'll, I'll push it closed and it, it will stay closed. Alright, here we are in the church where the light is going up. Those ones are active, that one's not. That one's active, so that's the one I'm going to go up there. And here's the leader of our church, Pastor Rob, who, may I add, is a great guitarist. Now, I'm not even going to bother. Oh God, excellent. This is like the, the, the big moment. This is... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. But, uh, it works. It works. It's a lie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So that repair job was well worth it. Okay guys, I'm not sure, but I've asked Pastor Rob, being the world famous guitarist he is, if he would like to play us a tune at the end. And we're located at Caddy Caddy Christian Centre, the Assembly of God next to the RSA. If any of you want to drop in at some time, you're more than welcome. Uh, it's called Wondering Where the Lions Are by Bruce Coburn. <laughs> Okay, the world revolves into another day, and I'm thinking about eternity. Some kind of ecstasy's got a hold on me. I had another dream about the lions at the door, they weren't half as frightened as they were before. And I'm thinking about eternity. Some kind of ecstasy's got a hold on me, and I'm wondering where the lions are. I'm wondering where the lions are. Here I'm wondering where the lions are yeah, yeah. Yay! 
Puxa, Lina, foi a... That's great. 